How's it going everyone, Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing off my personal car garage in Grand Theft Auto Online. A lot of you guys have been requesting this, so I thought I would show it off for you guys finally, show you some of the cars that you actually see in the videos. Now, this is not me bragging to say I have the most impressive garage, in fact, I don't think I really have one at all. These cars were not glitched or modified or money cheated in any way, so this is my hard earned money, just getting my cars in here. Like I said, I don't think I have an impressive collection, but these are the cars that I really like and that I have really learned to uh, have a you know fondness for over the years so starting for the back we are gonna go over the Grati Carbonazer if I'm pronouncing that correctly this is one of my favorite cars in the game I've got a cream paint job on it uh, I don't do a whole lot of flashy things to my vehicles you know spoilers a different exhaust some nice wheels that's about it I thought the cream color was really fitting for this Ferrari-esque style vehicle it looks really cool like I said one of my favorite in the game the next one is really my take on the Mystery Machine. It looks really awful, but is the BF Surfer. The reason I got it is because it has the surfboard on top, which you cannot add in a Los Santos Customs. It has to be found that way with the surfboard on top. That's the only way to get it like that, and so I thought I would really keep it. All right, the next car is the LRG RH8, which is the free car you get for signing up on the Rockstar Social Club. And uh, this is one of the very first cars I owned, obviously, because it's free, it's fast, uh, it looks really exciting. There's some cool things you can do about this car, like adding a bumper sticker on the back, and you can add some cool things to the bumpers and fenders. Looks really nice, I just got a little nice matte silver on there. One of my favorite cars in the game, and I really like it a lot. Like I said, it's one of the first, and that's why I really like it. So this next one we're going to be looking at is Michael's Obey Tailgater. I haven't done a whole lot to this. I don't ever really take it out. It's one of those things that's just there for sentimental value. It's Michael's car from the campaign. I didn't really change it up too much. Michael's car in the campaign's black, just like this black Obey Tailgater. So I really kept it the same. Just added a few things to the hood and to the roof. That's about it. But other than that, that is Michael's Tailgater. Like I said, pretty basic car. One of my favorites, though. So a video or a car that you've been seeing a lot in my videos lately is the Inverto Coquette, which is the same thing as the Corvette in real life. Now, unlike a lot of the ones you see in the game, I actually put the carbon fiber roof on this one. A lot of the ones you see will have a uh, convertible. And I've got two tone paint jobs on here. I've got a lighter blue and a darker blue. Makes it turn out really nice in my opinion. Just got a spoiler and some custom wheels. And that's basically it. One of my favorite in the game, the Coquette. Moving on to the next one, this is the Canis Kalahari. It's from the Beach Bum Pack. Obviously, I don't take this out all that much. It's more of like a trolley vehicle. Um, for whatever reason, I think it looks like a little toy car. It looks hilarious. And whenever I take it out, I really just cruise on the beach or uh, go off-roading a bit. So um, Canis Kalahari, that's about it. One of my favorites in my garage, this is the one that I did the video on, the 100% spawn location, Phoenix and Ponte after the Pontiac Firebird. One of my favorite cars in the game is that classic old school muscle car look. It, I think it looks really great. I've got an orange and then a lighter orangey yellow uh, paint job for the stripe that runs down the center. And uh, it just looks amazing. Like I said, one of my favorite cars in the game looks great. It's a muscle car and I, I don't obviously have any others in the game. But uh, I really like how the spoiler and the rims look. Like I said, really cool car. Now, one of my, fa I, I keep saying one of my favorites a lot, but this is my baby right here. This is the Pegasi Vaca, which I can't tell if it is like the McLaren or the Lamborghini Gallardo or Aventador. Kind of looks like a combination of the few, but I've got a pearlescent red slash sunrise orange on it. It looks brilliant. One of my favorite in the game. It doesn't do the best performance wise, but it sure is a looker. It just looks great. I haven't done a whole lot to it. Haven't even changed the exhaust. The only thing I really did was put different wheels on it uh, to make it a little bit more classier and a little bit more sporty. And of course I put the paint job on there as well. But that is basically it. I didn't want to do a whole lot to this car just because of how beautiful it looks straight out of the package, I guess you could say, or straight from Pegasus when they deliver it to you. So, uh, like I said, that was my first sports car when I got the uh, big payment or whenever I had enough, enough money to buy a sports car. This is the first one I bought, so it has a special place in my heart, and I really like it a lot. So anyways, guys, that was my garage in Grand Theft Auto Online. Of course, I'm going to be adding different cars here and now. But that's basically what you see in a lot of my videos. A lot of you guys have been asking about what are the cars I drive, what type they are, how I got them. That's basically it. Uh, there isn't a whole lot to it. There isn't many fancy vehicles in there, really high-tech vehicles, high-performance vehicles. But that's not who I am. You know, I just wanted to get a few nice cars that I thought I would really enjoy driving around. And that's basically what my garage consists of. 
Anyways, guys, if you did like this video or enjoyed some of the cars that I had to show off, please hit that thumbs up button. I really love it when you guys support the video. It's awesome. And of course, if you want to subscribe and see more gaming videos like this, hit the subscribe button down below. And I'd love to have you a part of the family. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.